Hi everybody, it's Jamie again. So excited to say that Louise is now with us and uh, we are excited to get started down Holiday Road with today's virtual speaker series presented by the Georgian Alumni Association. Before we get started, we'll begin today's event the way that we begin all events at Georgian with the Indigenous Land Acknowledgement. Georgian College, College acknowledges that all campuses are situated on the traditional land of the Anishinaabeg people. The Anishinaabeg include the Odawa, Ojibwe, and Potawatomi nations, collectively known as the Three Fires Confederacy. Georgian College is dedicated to honoring Indigenous history and culture and committed to moving forward in the spirit of reconciliation and respect with all First Nations, Métis, and Inuit people. Once again, thank you so much for joining me, everybody. Super excited to have Louise Jackson with us here today. A bit about Louise before we get started. Louise Jackson is a graduate of the Tourism Management Program at Georgian College, class of 1998. I'll leave you to do the math on that. She <laughs> called me on it earlier today. Um, she's the Vice Chair of Tourism here in Barrie. She's also a Director of Attractions Ontario, Director of Festival and Events Ontario, and she is the General Manager of Kempenfest. Louise is a leader in the tourism industry and always aims high to go aims high to go higher. She's a champion of the staycation and believes that Canada is so beautiful and that there's so much to explore here in our own backyard. Ontario really is worth exploring and she is a tourism expert, passionate about community and supporting local. She's proud to be a Georgian alum and an experiential tourism expert. Before we get started with Louise today, I'm gonna to start every conversation uh, the same way that I start with alum and ask her why Georgian? So why Georgian? That's a very easy question for me and even before I was asked that question I was always a proponent of the tourism program here at Georgian College. It uh, has given me so many opportunities. It is a great school. Uh, I believe the stats are, what are the stats of percentage of people that get hired in there? We are in the top three in Ontario. Top three in Ontario. And I can attest to that because I had so many friends of the program go on to do great things from high end level project managers at Hydro to managers of wineries uh, and uh, also people working right for the government and, and celebrate Ontario or tourism leaders here. Uh, Georgian has always supported you. The alumni reaches out. They did a great article when I got the job. So I have nothing but great things to say about Georgian College and if you're ever interested in knowing more about the tourism pro program, apparently I could talk about it all day. Thanks, Louise. And uh, and so that's your why, Georgian. And uh, and now we want to know why staycation? Oh, why staycation? Because you can do so much. And I always say we have so many great things in our own backyard. I would rather spend my money going out and doing things then on on traveling outside of the country and seeing what we have here. I mean, it's just really nature's playground. Awesome. So I know you have some great information to share with you. And for those of you on the call today, we will send this information out in in a follow up email. So you'll receive a copy of Louise's presentation slides as well as a link to so many great sites that she's going to speak about today. So without further ado, we are going to hand the mic officially over to Louise. But we're not handing the mic because that wouldn't be in that would be improper due to social distancing. So. Good catch. Good catch. <laughs> <laughs> we might sound muffled, of course, because we do have masks on. Uh, and again, tourism matters. Uh, supporting the local economy matters. And I get so many questions based on where I, the boards I sit on, what I do for a living as the general manager of Kemp Invest. Uh, people say, where should I go? I miss traveling, I just miss going places, and, but we need something for the whole family. You can do anything and everything in our own backyards. Now your backyard might not be my backyard because it's not that big, but uh, we have so many things to do. I, I am a former marketing manager at Hardwood Ski and Bike, so that is always a great spot to visit in Oro Medante. And the next slide I have that you'll get to see after this, uh, I have the heading on it called Where Will Your Bike Take You? And Don Gain, who is a coach at Hardwood, uh, said that. And I think it's so great. There's so much we can travel around by bike. Uh, we've got the Rail Trail. We have Barry's Waterfront, the Simcoe County Loop Trail. Blue Mountain has lots of great mountain biking. Horseshoe Resort, of course, Hardwood Ski and Bike, like I mentioned. Durham Forest uh, and road biking uh, up in this region. Uh, I know Oro Medante is really well known for that. And you can road bike and stop at a brewery, Quails Brewery, which is newly opened in Oro. 
So lots of things. Where will your bike take you, Jamie? So that's great. And actually, I, uh, I was telling Louise before the call today that one of my favorite places to go is actually Lake Superior in northern Ontario. We, uh, we do some great hiking and biking up there, some fantastic kayaking. So regardless of what corner of the province we're in, or really the corner of the country we're in, there's, uh, there's some great trails available to us. And that is beautiful country up there. Uh, and, and those, our northern tourism partners have done such a great job. Uh, Tim and Sault Ste. Marie, uh, Sudbury, uh, Thunder Bay, they've all worked together to promote their tourism. So just showing that working together and supporting our local businesses is really the key to success. Which brings me to one of my favorite things about tourism is food. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'll agree with me, Jamie, that the taste of local is really fun. Uh, local restaurants, bakeries, do you have a favorite bakery? You know, I have several favorite bakeries. Basically, any of the ones that use sugar are <laughs> are on the top of my list, but I'm not opposed to those gluten-free and sugar-free options also. I, uh, like you, I'm a big fan of local flavors. And, and one thing I've noticed with Taste Local is that it's that it, each piece is made with love by by someone. It's not a machine in, in the back And they're of so those. proud of it. They it's their craft. Chocolate shops, which I mentioned. I don't know uh, if any of you have a favorite chocolate shop, but I do, and it's Chelsea Chocolates, again in Oro Medante. Uh, they have a chocolate covered licorice that if I ever go buy stuff, I eat two on the way home, and then I <laughs> pretend I saved my husband two, and then I eat them later that night. But the thought counts. And Jamie and I talked earlier, don't leave, buy your chocolate at the beginning of your trip on the in the summer. Not a good idea for the car. Local cheese shops. Uh, there's a Thornbury cheese shop. We have uh, Jadora cheese here in Barrie who also have a very cool um, uh, speak cheesy craft breweries. We all know are fun and wineries. Uh, there's some beautiful wineries across the region. Uh, one of a great spot to visit wineries is Prince Edward County uh, and also the Niagara's we know. So you can do quite a wine tour uh, and your experiences matter. Make them matter. They count to the time spent traveling with the ones you love, create memories that last forever and you just get to enjoy each other you get to have a great time and and they're just things you can't give back and get back sorry not give back um and then three places that i also wanted to highlight i asked a question on my social my own facebook page today of hidden gems for people one was alt rock berry that people like to go bouldering and climbing and apparently get a great workout at so again have you been there I have not. No. So, but now I have now a have, list. Yeah, <laughs> we're going to be busy. Uh, and Sir Sam Ski and Bike. It's another beautiful facility in Halliburton. There's an inn up there that is breathtaking. Uh, you can ski, you can bike. And fun fact, I learned to ski there. So that's their claim to fame. Louise Jackson learned to ski here. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see it in the chalet. Uh, Cap, Cap King Owen, uh Provincial Park as well that came up. And the message when Jamie and I talked about this, we really wanted to get out there is when you're traveling, especially in today's day and age, be respectful, uh, follow the health and safety uh, guidelines, pick up your litter. There's nothing worse than being in a beautiful park and seeing people's litter. Uh, wear your mask and support the local economy. Get out there and support these people. If you were, if you're one of those people that love to travel and you go away every year, internationally and you can't do that this year if you were to spend half of what you spend on that trip and you could get some beautiful experiences you will help our local economy bounce back uh, and most of all be kind be gracious thank your hosts thank the servers who we have a hard time wearing masks we all know that our health workers have to wear them but think of those servers wearing them on a hot patio when their smile is part of the charm of what they do so be kind would you agree absolutely uh, and so some local stuff based on our demographic region, uh, explore what your local shops have to offer. Every downtown across Canada, they have such unique things. I I'm blown away at some of the smaller towns and how stunning their downtowns are. So in downtown Barrie, we have a couple of highlights. I have a, a great picture here you can see on social media later of myself and Denise Tucker from the Olive Oil Company. Uh, Olive Oil, of course, is is one of our alumni association first partners. So I will just throw that nod into to Barry Olive Oil. And I believe that as alumni, we need to use those perks partners a lot more. I think who doesn't want to save money? Absolutely. When you support a perks partner, most of the times the people behind those businesses are alumni or friends of Georgian, and and this is a way that they are finding to give back to the college as well. So 
you know, when we, when we go out and we support those businesses, we're supporting our, our own people at the same time, our friends, our neighbors, and, and our family members. And uh, Zuzu Fashion, which I love getting a nice little piece from there. It's my go-to piece. Uh, and then Last Level Lounge is a retro arcade place down in Barrie, which is pretty cool. Uh, and they've put out a patio now. We all have to think outside the box. And downtown Aurelia, uh, Mississauga Street is actually closed Friday and Saturdays and becomes a pedestrian-only street with the patios, the cafes. Uh, OC Emporium, who I picked <laughs> personally. <laughs> Jamie has a vested interest in that. So, yeah. So for those of you that, uh, that know I'm from downtown Aurelia, but I would also say that... Uh, the uh, Friday and Saturday nights in downtown Aurelia are are be quickly becoming a popular attraction for uh, for our region and beyond, because the local merchants are shutting the streets down at four o'clock through to eleven o'clock, and they're moving all of their restaurant seating out into the street, creating a full dining experience like we haven't experienced before. You know, you can start early and have your meal, and then do shopping afterwards. Or you can choose to eat a little later and have dinner under the stars. Either way, those experiences are truly incredible, and it's a great way to give back locally to some of the merchants that uh, that were challenged for a little while there. And you mentioned, Jamie, that they have music. They do. So, you know, when you go into these downtown uh, cores, the ones that are creating experiences are really going above and beyond to make sure that that experience is, is one to remember. So, uh, so when you go to downtown Aurelia, you'll see that, uh, that many of those restaurants have live entertainment. Uh, Santa Fe has a flutist there every weekend. And uh, and really, uh, you know, between jazz music, classical music, you'll you'll find a really great experience by, uh, by some really great people in our own backyard. And that's the magic of tourism. And we're missing that, that human connection. So people are down and people are, you know, not feeling that great during all of this. I have a good friend who was part of a a conference and he told me that somebody in that conference said nobody is 100 percent okay right now so know that that's okay and get out and enjoy it or ask a friend to meet you for a socially distanced dinner and and it, embrace our culture that we have in our own backyards and mariposa market's one i want to mention too because i absolutely you did ask me if i had a favorite bakery and and while i try my best not to pick favorites <laughs> i will certainly say that uh, i've had my share of macaroons from the mariposa market <laughs> oh i can't stop when i go in there i get very a kid in the candy store um and shop local artisans so uh as the gm of camp and Fest, we have over 350 arts and crafts vendors and these people spend their whole year preparing for a couple of shows or just one show. I mean, the one of a kind craft show was canceled this year. Uh, so if you're looking to support and buy some beautiful pottery or some metal works or even some amazing things for your beard, uh, artwork, sculpture, go to kempenfest.com to the arts page and the antiques page. And we have direct links to all of those vendors. So you can actually buy from them directly. And they have some pretty cool stuff. And Louise, I'd add as well that, uh, that when we shop in those family run businesses and those smaller markets, um, many of those artists that you speak of um, are now finding space in those vendors as well to uh, to present their materials. So uh, I encourage people to think like a tourist when you go out, um, you know, rather than going to a box store for your vacation day, go into those smaller downtown areas and look around like a tourist would and, and see things from a different angle. And you'll determine that uh, some of those artists are doing incredible work that represents some of the greatest culture that we've got here to share. And I think, uh, don't we have a place downtown Barry, the Artisan Cafe, which is a whole bunch of these vendors that are showcased? We do, and and of course the uh, there's a uh, there's a place in Aurelia as well called uh, the Makers Market that highlights some uh, some incredible makers from across our region. That's such a fun spot to go. Go buy birthday presents. I would say go buy Mother's Day, but that's past. But <laughs> just because I'm a mom. Uh, and I, I want to read you a quote. So tourism, what I really want people to know, and I've said it for a while, is people need to understand the economic impact and how big of a business tourism is. So I just have a quote here from uh, our the Heritage Sport Tourism and Culture Industries Minister, Lisa McLeod. And she says, Heritage Sport Tourism and Culture are a powerhouse that fuels a spectacular double bottom line. And this number still amazes me. Our Heritage Sport Tourism and Culture Industries achieve a combined economic imprint of an invest estimated $71 billion. That is a massive number. And out of that, I believe 2.9 billion go back into our infrastructure, our hospitals, our schools. So we really need to get out and, and support local and, and be a tourist. And, and don't forget about our hoteliers. These it, people. 
It's true, and and I do want to acknowledge that many of the folks that work in these industries are actually graduates of Georgian College as well. We have some of the best tourism and recreation programs in the province, and and our graduates are now working in industries across this across the country and and beyond. So when you're when you're shopping local local and, and experiencing some of these uh, great experiences, quite often it's uh, it's an Georgian alum on the other side of that experience that's that's providing that to you. So you're supporting local, but you're also uh, you're supporting our alumni family at the same time. And some great teachers that actually work here that are industry professionals, which when you said why George and I didn't say, it was like you were learning from actual industry professionals. So you were hands on the pulse, you were up to date, and I just love that. So where can you find information other than listening to Jamie and I, which we know we <laughs> might take this show on the road later, so you can say you knew us when. Um, <laughs> uh, is we have a couple of sites that I'd like to mention. Um, I have a vested interest in both of them as a board member. Uh, Tourism Berry. Tourismberry.com is a phenomenal powerhouse, again, of a, a website that uh, they reinvented themselves during COVID-19 and they started doing uh, tours of Barrie through your home. Uh, they were actually recognized for the level of what they did. But right now what they have is Rediscover Barrie. They want you to get out and rediscover what's in your own backyard. And Jamie and I learned that we have a Bear Creek Eco Park. We do. <laughs> we did not know that. And it looks really cool if you could see my slide. Um, and pick your own farms. Get the kids out, pick berries. Uh, I have some friends who are actually now getting into jamming and pickling and all of that stuff because of COVID. They don't want to have to worry about, you know, running out of food and hats off to them. I, I'll just put myself on the list to get their jarred jar goods. <laughs> uh, so tourismberry.com is an amazing site and I'd like to thank them for their help with some of the pictures. Another one, if you're looking for your all-in-one Ontario tourism site is attractionsontario.ca. Uh, this website actually even has a road trip planner. So you can click on it and you can plan your trip and it'll give you destinations. Um, African Lion Safari. Do you know the song, Jamie? African Lion Safari. Come see the animal show. <laughs> <laughs> see, we are. They're, look at we're, Our phones are already ringing happened. about people yeah. who want us to go on, <laughs> go on the road. Uh, and another one that is very well known in the blog world and in the tourism industry world, but until I sat on the Board of Attractions Ontario, I didn't know about it. And it's Grand River Rafting Company, and they are amazing. So check out these websites. And also with Attractions Ontario, they do the Ontario Choice Awards, uh, which Kempen Fest is actually up for Festival of the Year. And they do lots of cool contests where you can win entries to all of these attractions, which is super fun. And they give away a ton of prizes. Again, discounts, prizes, what else do you want? I mean, truly, you had me at prizes. <laughs> <laughs> It's so exciting. Actually, because of Attractions Ontario, I got to go see Alegria last year, wow. which was awesome and life changing and made me feel really lazy. <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, a couple other, uh, we talked about our nation's capital and what can we do in Ottawa, uh, the Byward Market, which would have a similar experience to what Absolutely. Aurelia, what you're talking about there now. Uh, Sebon Cooking is offering gourmet food tours throughout the cities. Uh, they have bicycle tours. Uh, and they collaborate with um, Sabon Bikes and Bites, and of course our friend. I don't know if you know Glenn, but Glenn does haunted walk tours. I have not done a haunted walk tour. Yes, they are. <laughs> He's won again an award-winning tour, so he is really uh, fantastic. I had the pleasure of sitting with him at a table, and I thought, oh, I'm really listening to everything you're saying. I need to spook me out. <laughs> <laughs> and. Uh, the Meadows Golf Club is a nice golf destination out in that region, uh, and the National Gallery. Have you ever been to the National Gallery in Ottawa? Uh, I have not. It, it is on my list. Oh, it is good for your mental health. I didn't want my phone. I wanted to, like, I just walked through it, and I felt all the energy and the arts, and they actually have free admission right now. And as of tomorrow, all seven museums in, in Ottawa will be open to the public again. Which is incredible. I mean, you speak about mental health, and, and right now we've been isolated and 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 cut off from so much for so long that uh, that these are just tremendous opportunities for us to get back out and and experience some of these great things that uh, that Ontario has to offer uh, not just by ourselves but with our friends and loved ones as well you know navigating our will through this and wondering is our job going to be here and things like that a uh, 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 place I went to was the Octagon House in uh, Prince Edward County and they actually have a full concierge service. Everything in their rooms is uh, Canadian made. So they have that real 
like I felt pampered. I actually got home and thought, oh, what? Hello? Nope. <laughs> nope. No one's listening. I'm picking up the socks. So what you're saying is we don't necessarily have to rough it or wear our heels down to experience some of these great things. Yes. And, and unwind or treat your parents to that treat. If somebody needs it, give them a gift of an experience, which we talked about big box store shopping, buying all those things. If you can even give a gift card to these beautiful downtown places or go get them or give them a weekend getaway, they're going to spend money there and they're going to just embrace tourism. And we need to. We don't need to get on a plane to go see beautiful places. True story. They could just look at our nice faces. Now, what <laughs> shocked you the most? What were you most excited about of people who posted on my wall today? So for those of you on the on the line, Louise had a number of photos posted to her social media earlier today, which she'll, of course, share out at uh, at the end of the presentation by email. But uh, one of those photos was from Manitoulin Island, and I had never seen this waterfall before, but it, it's truly exceptional. And, and I think what caught my attention the most from this photo is that if I had seen it without the caption, I would have assumed that this waterfall was perhaps down in, in South America, perhaps into Costa Rica or, 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 or basically, you know, somewhere that wasn't Ontario. And I think that's what I was perhaps taking for granted before I had this conversation with Louise, is that many of those attractions that we travel for are available right here in Ontario. We just need to, uh, to look for them. Yeah, and uh, like I said, I, I went up to Thunder Bay in October last year, and we went to uh, Fort William, and, and their waterfront infrastructure in Thunder Bay was amazing. The food, right? All of these places, all these unique, some chefs are moving out of the big city into these great little hamlets of Ontario or Vancouver or wherever, and opening up these really great restaurants where you can get world-class cooking. And you talk about restaurants locally, and I think one of the things that I'm guilty of, and I'm sure many other people on the on the call are guilty of as well, is that when I'm local, I'm quite often in a rush. I don't always take the time to sit down and enjoy a meal or enjoy an experience the way I would if I were gone on vacation. So I think one of the messages I've heard from you today is to take an opportunity to give yourself time to appreciate these experiences as well. Yes, and you know, if you can't afford a lot, you can still stay at home and then you get up in the morning and you start all over again. So, and you can take take at home with you, which is handy. And that's the thing. It's get out, explore local, enjoy local and use the websites and the knowledge that is out there and, and ask people or so one thing I mentioned before was Tourism Barrier and Attractions Ontario. And I want people to know, uh, look up a direct marketing organization, Tourism Timmins, Tourism Thunder Bay. Uh, Windsor Essex Tourism, Explore Waterloo Region, all of these places, uh, Ontario Travel, Destination Ontario, these all have websites. You can Google them and look for regions that you're going to because they promote all of these under one website. So awesome. they're handy. And we'll share those links out with everybody once again at the end of this call today. Yeah, yeah. And so we're ready to wrap it up. I would wrap, but... So I guess before we go today, uh, I will quickly ask if uh, if anybody has any questions for Louise before we close the call. And uh, so we'll give this a, a couple of moments and and if nobody has any questions, then. Uh, and I do want to mention for uh, questions if well, we're waiting is if anybody has any questions about the tourism program or they know somebody who wants to get into the tourism industry and really get the education behind it. I would be happy to have conversations with them around that. I've done it for a, a few people whose kids were looking at getting into tourism. And don't be afraid of the tourism industry. Even though it was the hardest hit industry, tourism is going to be the one that bounces our economy back. So feel free to reach out to me and ask any questions. Awesome. So, uh, so on that note, before I release you, Louise, <laughs> I do want to ask you one closing question because, of course, we, we started with Why Georgian. Um, but now I'm going to ask for one recommendation. If you were to choose one place to go this summer um, as a staycation destination, where would you send us? Oh, I want to go to so many places right now. <laughs> That's a tough one. Uh, I really love uh, the Bruce County up that way. It's magical up there. you got Flower Pot Island. You've got really good fish and chips because they have a lot of white fish up there. So I would suggest going that way and uh, a beautiful little campground up there called Mountain Trout Camp, which I used to have a place up there. But any camping, I would say too, get out and camp. Awesome. And be healthy. 
Awesome. So thanks, Louise. On that note, we will uh, we will thank Louise for joining us today, and uh, and I will let everybody on the call know that uh, to thank Louise for for joining us and for speaking with us today. We will make a a donation to to the scholarship fund in our honor, um, so that uh, so that today's experience that was enjoyed by us will also help to benefit a student uh, at Georgian in the fall. Oh, that's awesome. Makes me proud. Thank you. So thank you everybody for joining us and and be sure to watch your inbox for uh, for a link to the slides from Louise today as well as a link to all of these great attractions and and guidance tools that Lisa, Louise has shared with us and and be sure to watch your inbox for uh, for future opportunities for the for the virtual speaker series. Until then, stay safe and enjoy your summer. Take care. <laughs>